Hi ladies and gentlemen, this is Tony Hollowitz and I want to try to teach you a little bit about the game of solitaire. And I want to tell you right up front, I am not a solitaire expert. What I did is I started a game just so that I could get into it a little bit and show you how to work with solitaire. The concept behind solitaire is this. If you look up top here, we have four spots for cards. The cards need to be built up, beginning with the ace, and it's going to go up the same suit until you get to the king. So for example, the card you want to put on this ace of spades is the two of spades, and then on top of that the three of spades, and four of spades, and so forth. All the cards are dealt in such a way that to get to the cards and expose them or turn them over, you've got to move cards off of them. So in order to do that, you have to manipulate the cards, and the best way I can show you how to do that is by, by starting the game and trying to illustrate it. So what we need to do first is I'm going to come up here on this little card, and I'm going to click on it once, and it exposes a new card, the Ace of Clubs. Because I need to build these decks up, starting with the Ace, I'm going to click on the Ace with the left mouse button and hold, and I'm going to drag over here, and I'm going to drop it right on this little spot. Now, i got to tell you, I'm in a pretty good spot right now because of the fact that I have the aces almost all the way laid out. That's a good thing. What I do is I have to observe down here below, and I need to build cards down. But let me describe how that happens. See right here where you have the seven of hearts and the six of spades? Well, notice we have a red seven and then a six sp of spades. It's seven of hearts and six of spades. What I have to do is the next card going down in order is a five, but it can't be a five that's black. It's got to be the opposite color, so it's got to be a red five. If I click on this five, what I can try to do is put it over here on the six and build this list down. By doing that, it exposes this card, which would allow me to flip that card over and see what's underneath. And you'll see this process start to unfold as I do it. But because I have a red 5, when I go to put this 5 on it, by clicking on it with the left mouse button, holding and dragging, and then dropping on the 6, it's going to go right back to where it was because I can't put a black 5 there. It's going to be a red 5. So that was the process of dragging and dropping. But because the game wouldn't allow me to put it there, it moved it back on its own. So what you have to try to do is build these cards down in opposite colors so that you can expose the cards below it. Because I have no way to build this down, I now have to flip a card, and I'm going to flip this. There is the nine of spades. I can only put this nine of spades on a red ten. I don't see anything, so I flip another card. Here's the six of clubs. Now again, the only thing I can put this on is a red seven. There's no red seven here, so I have to deal again. Four of spades. Again, I can't do anything with it because I have to put it on a red five. Queen of diamonds, again, I'm stuck. And see, this is how the game works. You're trying to expose different cards so that you can use them. And I'm not seeing anything I can use. i got to keep going. Eight of spades, still can't use it. This is getting a little frustrating. Ace of hearts. Now, I can take the ace of hearts and I can drag it over here. Now, because I've exposed the ace of hearts, I have the two of hearts right here, and now what I can do is I can click on this two of hearts and drag it up here. What would go next is the three of hearts, and so forth. The object of the game is to keep going along so that you build up all the aces and get each suit all the way up to the king. If you can do that, you win the game. But what you're going to see in playing this game is that sometimes you get stuck and you can't make any other moves. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the deck and I have the king of clubs. Again, I can't do anything with this. I'm going to click again. Five of diamonds. Now, I can use this and I can drag it down here and put it underneath the red, I'm sorry, the black six and I'm going to let go. So now it exposes some things for me. Again, I'm going to click on this. I have the ten of spades can't do anything with it. I'm, this is really sort of a tough game. King of spades. Now what I can do with the king is I have a blank space right here so I can drag the king down here and now I can take this red queen and put it under the king and it exposes this card. To click on this card that now gives me a jack which I can drag here. 
I have two spaces here that when I have a space open, the only thing I can put in this space is a king. So I'm going to take this king, drag it over, and now I can flip this card. And you'll see how this starts to build on itself. So again, because I don't have any cards left, what I have to do at this point is redeal the deck by clicking on this green circle. Click on the card. There's the queen of spades. I can put this under the king. Let me do this again. Eight of clubs. I can't really do anything with that. So I'm sort of stuck here. So I'm going to deal again. Ten of diamonds. I can put it under the jack. And you see how this is starting to work. Well, what I'll do is at this point, if you want to start your own solitaire game, I will do that. But what I'm going to do is run through this game making comments here and there just so you can see how it works. I'm going to click on the deck. Two of diamonds. I can put it on the ace. Three of hearts. I can put it on the two of hearts. And see how now the second time around some of the th things here are opening up for me. Um, don't see any moves. Two of spades. I can put it right there. And you'll see things will start to open up as we go through this process. Again, nothing I can do with that. And I might miss something because I'm trying to move through things rather quickly here. No, I don't see any options here for me. I really need some fours. There's a nine. Yeah, I can put it right there. Let me flip this again. Six. No, can't really do anything with that that I can see. Four spades. Yep, I can put that right here. Queen of Diamonds, no, can't really do anything with that one either. Jack of Diamonds, now I can take this and put it over here. Queen of Diamonds, stuck with that one again. Nine of Diamonds, no, I'm sort of stuck with that. And see how I'm running out of options here? Now, I can take the 10, and I can put it here on the jack. Now, I want you to observe down here on the bottom right, and I've got to be honest with you, I've never understood how this works, but I have a score and a time, and I'm sure at the end it equates to something. I just don't know how that works. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the deck again, and I'm going to start flipping again. Eight of clubs. No, can't really do anything with that. Sort of running out of things here that I can do. And I might be sort of shut out of things here. Ten of clubs, no, can't do anything. Seven of diamonds, no. King of hearts, no, can't do anything with it. Six of clubs, no. Queen of diamonds, no, I'm sort of stuck here. Now the nine of diamonds I can take here. And see, I'm trying to expose those cards to get to different things, and I don't really have anything that I can do. I really need an eight here. Oh, there's a red eight. So, I'm sorry, a black eight. Let me take this and drag it here. Now, I want to draw your attention to this seven of hearts. Remember how I said you need a seven under the eight? Well, if I click on the seven and drag, I can take this whole pile and put it here. Now I can expose this card. Hey, here's my three of diamonds. Put it right there. Nine of hearts. Uh, let's see. I don't really see any place I can use that. But you always got to be looking, and you got to look at some of the things that are exposed up here and see if you can use them. King. No, I can't really do that. I'm going to redial again. I'm sort of stuck here, but let's see what happens. Eight, I can put under the nine. Seven, I can put under the eight. And see, I'm just keep trying to build on this thing and seeing what happens. And again, I keep getting stuck. Six, put right there. But I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I really don't see anything. Queen of diamonds. No. King of clubs. See how I'm sort of getting stuck here? So I have to look around and see what I can find. No, I might be stuck. And I might have at this point lost the game. So I know this isn't the most exciting thing to watch someone using this. But hopefully what's happening, if you're playing the game, at this point you're so much concentrating on the cards that what happens is you're not really thinking about the fact that you're using the mouse. And the primary thing that I want you to get from using the mouse is the clicking on things with the left mouse button, the clicking and holding, and then moving or dragging something to another spot. That's called dragging and dropping. So just at a glance here, I think I'm stuck. But I want to use this as a tool to illustrate how you're using your first software program. That software program being Solitaire, you've learned a little bit about minimizing, maximizing, and restoring things down. But most importantly, you're learning about using the mouse 
and using it in such a way that you don't even have to think about it. If you can master the mouse at this point, you've done a great job. If you're still awkward with it, please just keep trying to use solitaire. Move the pointer around your screen. You will get used to it. And keep playing solitaire until you feel comfortable with the mouse. If you accomplish that at this point, everything else will be easier. My name is Tony Hollowitz. I want to thank you so very much for being here. Have a great day. Thank you.